this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Hi hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video on the channel today guys Hopefully y'all are having a great day um, If you're wondering the time of recording this, I know I say this every single video It's 11.47pm for me, so I might be a little bit tired And also make sure to look down right here because I am going to be joining the Sports PSP podcast every Friday I think at um, 7 o'clock uh, Central, it's either 7 o'clock is Central or 8 o'clock my time, probably 8 o'clock my time. Uh, it's always 9 p.m. Eastern or 8 p.m. Eastern. I don't remember what he said, but make sure you guys go check out their live streams and the videos that they post on their Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube because I will be starting to join on there. And I got a lot to say about the Packers on Friday, but you will be hearing that from me way earlier this week. On Monday, because on Monday I'm going to be going over the whole entire week and giving you my predictions. They'll probably be posted on Tuesday, though, uh, the conference championship predictions. But this is not the main thing we're not going to be talking about here. We're going to be talking about the Baltimore Ravens. I posted a video on TikTok with my a little bit of an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, game reaction or maybe a 30 minute game reaction. Uh, after uh, the game because I honestly just wanted to kind of talk my mind as I was in very, in a lot of sight, sorry, and a lot of excitement. Uh, I mean, we played a good game out there. Lamar did play a really good game out there in my opinion. I think he played really good out there. Both defenses fought a lot. But I think the one that fought the most was our defense. Our defense kinda did a lot. Kinda did a lot. But I wanna focus on the Texans here. Because if you focus on the Texans you'll understand of how much the Texans are a good team here. Are a good team. Look at this. C.J. Stroud was 19 for 33 at 175 yards and did not get a single passing touchdown. The only reason why we he didn't he like couldn't get a passing touchdown, and the only reason why is because Stroud it, it was getting pressured every time by that great defense by the Ravens. And also, I want to say this: Texans were costing themselves every single time, and I'm not I'm not like supporting them. It's saying, "Oh, this happened, then this happened." No, it it happened because they did it, and all that shit started happening, and it and it sucked. It's it it like they if they didn't do that, they'd probably have a higher score. But nope, that didn't happen. Singletary had twenty two yards for nine carries. C.J. Stroud had a few yards, and so did Odd. Uh, Dyer, I don't know how to say that. Nico Collins, Devin Singletary, Dalton Schultz, they had a game. Had a game. Uh, people, the PSP earlier uh, um, yesterday on the Sports PSP podcast, he said that Dalton Schultz was very underrated. And I can kind and I can kind of say and agree to that. that he is kind of underrated. In my opinion, he's a little bit underrated, but it honestly just depends on how it does and how it goes. All right, it just depends. And it, yeah, but he he did some stuff, but I think the defense is what helped, kinda, because Blake Cashman got a sack, Desmond King got a sack, uh, Kurt Hennish got a sack. We we only got sacked like three times. And there was no interceptions. And then most of their points, I think, it wasn't from kicking. So it was just, it was from mostly just scoring a touchdown and then scoring uh, the stuff. But then if you go look at the Ravens side of things, Lamar had a great day 16 for 22, 152 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, great game by Lamar. And he used his rushing ability to. 
is kind of his advantage to get us a, a big lead in this. Lamar Jackson with Lamar having uh, 11 carries, 100 yards, and two touchdowns, and Hill and Edwards, and luckily Dalvin Cook getting into the game. Uh, they helped a little bit there too. Zay, Zay, the GOAT, the fucking GOAT, bro, the fucking GOAT. I need to point out a lot of people here. Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Isaiah Likely, Nelson Aguilar, OBJ, and Justice Hill. Those are the guys that I can say that did good. But the only person that I would like to kind of criticize here is Nelson Aguilar. He did get us a touchdown, but that was our first touchdown in the game. He almost costed us his interception. He could have cost us an interception. And I'm just being honest, in my opinion. You're just looking at an honest opinion from me. Right? Well, I don't know why, but Aguilar is an incredible wide receiver. It's just that really bothers me of how he's just dropping passes because we can't be doing that, especially since it's playoffs. We just can't. We just can't be doing that, but two passing touchdowns from Likely and Igor, and then you got two touchdowns from Lamar, um, passing and rushing on um, both sides of the ball. But I thought both of them had a great game. I thought both teams had a great game on the defensive side of things, as you just looked at what had happened. Uh, but I think the defense from the Ravens, they, they pressured – Tex- the Texans. They really did. They really pressured the Texans. And yeah, that's my opinion on it. But um, tomorrow is an important day, but you're seeing this on Sunday probably, like early Sunday. Uh, so you're going to be getting that tomorrow. You're going to be getting that today. So there's that. So I don't know who the AFC Championship game is yet. You can't tell me. I don't know who it is, uh, okay? You can't, like, yeah, just don't criticize me on that. But, do. But, yeah, that's mostly what I can say on it Um, a lot of times. But the Ravens had a good game today. Uh, We played our are probably our best yet I've seen ever since the 49ers game. I've I've seen I think we can do much better though. Yes, I think we can do real better uh right now. I think we can. If we really, really can. But depends on who we face. It's either we face Buffalo or Kansas City. I'm hoping it's Buffalo. Buffalo is going to be the easy team to defeat, especially with their beat-down defense. It will give us an easy road to the Super Bowl. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can say from now. And then I, I'll talk about the Packers game probably either on Wednesday or on Monday, or on Monday, whenever I record the conference championship predictions video. Uh which will probably be after Sunday because I wanted to get it done, edited, and then uh, probably post it out for you guys maybe on Monday. It just honestly depends what I'm going to do. Uh, but I honestly hope you guys have a great Sunday because you guys will be seeing this on Sunday. I'm sorry that I was talking during my yawn. Uh, I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired, but I'm going to be watching the rest of the UFC fight. Looks, it's looking real good right now. It is looking real good. But um, but yeah. Uh, the Strickland and Duplass is on. But uh, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.